Like Nigeria, like Christianity, we have achieved organic unity, but we have not achieved organizational unity. There is organic unity in the church, but there is no organic unity in Christ. I mean, organizational unity in Christianity. Same thing in Nigeria, we have organic unity. An organ is just a composite of uh, tissues or cells uh, doing the same thing, you know? They are working the same thing. Your eye is an organ. It has different parts, but all of them are producing the same effect, isn't it? That is organ, organic, and that's what I mean, you know? Your mouth, your ear, these are organs, your kidney, organs. But your whole being now is organization. So organization means different organs working to enhance this one person. Are you following me? So your, your eye is an organ, but it has different parts. But all of them are working together. So that's organic unity with the eyes, different organs. But you as a person, you are an organizational uh, being. All the different organs working. Nigeria has achieved, Christianity has achieved organic unity, but the organizational unity. In Nigeria, organic unity represents tribes, ethnicities, religions, regions, sometimes political parties, sometimes so. Uh, but political parties are not strong. You see, they, are, they can cross today and cross over. Nigerian politicians, they are cross, now they be crossover specialists. I don't know who can cross. That is organic unity. The Igbos are more united among themselves than they are with other tribes. The Hausas are more united among themselves than they are with other tribes. The Yorubas are more united among themselves. They can speak about Yoruba interest vociferously than they are about others. Politics in Nigeria is about organic interest. That's why 20, 2023 is coming now. What is the main biggest argument on election 2023? Is it not which region we produce president? Abi, is that not the biggest argument now? Whether it's going to be southwest or southeast or south-south, or even some people in the north still clamoring that they still have to remain in the north. That is the sign of organic unity. No organizational unity. And it's because there is absence of leadership. And until Nigeria achieves organizational unity, we don't have leadership. Bring it to Christianity, the same thing. We have organic unity. It's a good thing, though. It's a good thing. But it only takes you so far. It doesn't take you beyond. We have organic unity in Christianity. Denominations are united among themselves. You have Catholics who are united. Uh, Anglicans are united. Uh, Methodists. Um, Pentecostals are going to their own different churches. That's organic unity. But we have not achieved organizational unity in Christianity. Can is Christian Association of Nigeria. There's a difference between association and organization. But first of all, we want to thank God for organic unity. Don't play with the power of unity. So let's enjoy the one we have. That's why I have told you several and I'm telling you again. Don't aid and abet those who want to destroy the organic unity of the church. Jesus prayed in John 17 that there may be one. He prayed both for organic and organizational unity. He said, Father, may there be one as you are in me. Then in same John 17, he said, there are those who we believe through this. May they also be one. One of our strongest um, foundations or strategies for existence as a church is organic unity. And leadership perpetuates it. So stop patronizing priests or lay people who are nibbling away at the organic unity of the church. I'm talking to you as Catholics now. If this church scatters, where do you think it will be? Do you know what the presence of the church does in the world? You know, some people think that, okay, they think that religion is a problem. Let's wish away religion. I wish that one day God would just simply say, okay, let me even give you people what you want. Take away religious um, consciousness and see how the place will be. But for you as a Catholic, unity is part of our character. He said that there may be one so that the world will know that it was you who sent me. Any priest or a lay person who is so anointed and powerful that he doesn't want to remain part of this unity, let him go. Let him not scatter the church. 
or how scattered the church. Don't patronize such spirits. I'm saying it and I'm saying it again. It's part of the strength of the church. Don't be part of those who are just destroying this um, foundation. There are people who have left the Catholic Church and formed their church. Are we not living together? Anybody who feels he cannot be part of the, um, um, the organic unity or the organizational unity of the church, let the person do what? Go and find your own church. We shall still be praying to you. After all, I'm going to say that the same God will they pray to Abby. But as long as somebody remains in the Catholic faith, you can't do things that undermine the unity of the church. To watch full videos and get notifications for new ones, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. God bless you. Sign up with the largest community of Catholics online, make new friends, chat, post pictures and videos, make and receive audios and video calls, interact with lots of priests and religions, download the app from Google Play Store.